This map shows Border Patrol sectors along the southwest border. The Tucson sector is the busiest. Since the 1st of January 2012, a private organization, SecureBorderIntel.org, has been monitoring Border Patrol radio traffic in an area south and west of Tucson. This is just part of the Tucson sector. The Border Patrol uses encrypted radio communication so others can't listen in. But it doesn't do it all the time. Secure Border Intel estimates that it picks up about 30% of the radio traffic in the area covered. Using a labor-intensive procedure, Secure Border Intel categorizes radio traffic by type of enforcement activity. There are two basic types, human smuggling and drug smuggling. From the 1st of January to September 19th of 2012, Secure Border Intel cataloged 1,720 enforcement activities in this area in this way. Secure Border Intel plots its data in Delorme topo mapping software, but it does so in a way that makes it difficult to see the entire picture all at once. But as we zoom in, we can see details. The notes are common Border Patrol lingo used on the radio. IAs are illegal aliens. Unknown means an agent has seen sign indicating suspects but hasn't seen them visually. Carpet walkers are people who put carpet on their feet to hide telltale footprints. Packers are people carrying drugs. This area, about 10 miles north of the border near Sassabee, Arizona, shows a lot of activity. This map shows activity in an area just west of Tucson, 60 miles north of the border. Again, this is 60 miles north of the border. We don't know how many of these people were apprehended. Probably most were not. Secure Border Intel logs only a fraction of actual activity. You have to multiply this activity by about three to get a real picture. Since mid-August, there has been a significant surge in activity. Some attribute this to a new amnesty program launched by President Obama. There is no question that this year, thousands of people crossed the border illegally in this area and most will have made it past the Border Patrol. Despite the application of significant assets and thousands of hours of Border Patrol time, people were not deterred from crossing the border illegally. Between Nogales and Lukeville, a distance of 115 miles, there are only seven miles of fence designed to stop people. The rest is wide open to foot traffic. Some argue that a real fence would solve the problem. However, there is great opposition to new fencing on the border. There may be another way, however. Help is on the way. New technology has been developed that can solve the border problem. It will be shown at the Border Management Conference and Expo, October 15th to 17th in El Paso. You can get a free pass to the Expo by logging on to BorderTechExpo.com. Do it today.